So Pop's brother lived right next door. So, okay, so let's back up. You lived in a row house. Yes. 2230 Winton Street. Yes. Two bedrooms. Yes. Where did everybody sleep? Well, it was just mom and pop in the one bedroom, and Franny and I had twin beds. But then when we got older, I slept in the bed with mom, and pop moved in the room with Franny. Okay, so next door was one of Pop's brothers. Which one? Jimmy. And then at some point you're, so you never knew your grandfather? No. Pop's father? No, he died. He, he died when he was very young. And, and Pop's mother, what were their names? Her mother and father? Mom, uh, Grandma Michelle was Lucy Donardo, her maiden name. And my grandfather was Francesco Bicholi. So you never knew your grandfather, and your grandmother eventually moved in next door? Yes. My uncle Jimmy married Mary, and Mary died with breast cancer, very young. And they had two boys, and my grandmother moved in to take care of the two boys. So how, how did that go? Well, I think it went all right for a while. Uh, they didn't particularly like mom because she was Irish and all the other brother, brothers married Italian girls. So my mom would send food next door to help my grandmother out. And she would take the food out in the backyard and open the garbage pail and throw the food in the garbage pail so that my mother could see her do it. And she would call mom a no good American. They really did not like her very much. My uncles did, but not my grandmother. So they didn't talk? Yeah, when we were young, we, you know, everything seemed fine. I don't remember any controversy when we were young. We got, you know, my cousins and I got along fine. And but there was a period where it wasn't so fine. No, my uncle met Rose, and when they got married, Rose moved in, and therefore she wanted my grandmother to move out. And my grandmother went to live with my uncle Nicky, and uh, that's when my mother named Rose Scrappleface. So at some point, uh, somebody died, I don't know who died, and mom went to the funeral home and kind of uh, took, uh, took well, over that was, matters? That was my two aunts, Jessie and Caroline, used to go visit my grandmother who lived right next door. And my mother wanted to know what they were talking about. So she used to put a glass to the wall so that she could hear what they were saying. And one day she heard them talking about her, and she was not very happy about that. So when my aunts left, my mother called them in the house and confronted them. And then my Aunt Caroline and her got into a fist fight. Mom, mom, mom had her on the floor and was beating the living daylights out of her. Pop was at work. I don't know where Franny was, and I was home witnessing all this. So then that led to them not talking for quite a while. And shortly after that, within I'd say a week or so, my uncle Pop's brother came to confront Mom. And he stood in the middle of Witten Street and called my mother the N-word turned inside out because she was Irish. Which then led Pop to confront my uncle. So then they had a fist fight in the middle of Witten Street oh my God. that I was witness to. And again, I don't know where Brady was, but he was spared all this. So that tension went on for years? 
Yeah, I'd say maybe three or I was trying to pinpoint a timeline when my grandmother died. So I think they were we weren't talking to them. They lived right next door, but we weren't they weren't talking to us and we weren't talking to them. I think mom issued a mandate that we weren't allowed to talk to them. The gag order. Mm -hmm. A gag order. Yes. So then we got a phone call one night that my grandmother died while she was living at Uncle Dickie's. And Pop and Franny got a cab and went to West Philly because Mom, my grandmother, Miss Shirley, died. So Mom, Miss Shirley, was pacing the floor because all the other wives were there, so she should be there too. And I kept trying to talk her out of it because I didn't want any more confrontation. So I had to call a cab. We went to West Philly, and when we got there, we walked in the front door, and everybody was sitting in the living room. Now, all these people hadn't talked to Mom for years, and she marched right upstairs to where my grandmother's body was laying and offered her sorrows, and everybody, you know, greeted her fine, and we went back downstairs, and they start talking about the viewing, what uh, funeral parlor they were going to take her to, and Mom said, no way, you're not taking your mother to a funeral parlor. She's going to be laid out here. And I thought, oh, God, here we go again. So my uncles got up and start moving the furniture around to make way for my grandmother being laid out of my uncle's house. And that was the beginning of them being back together. <laughs>